A teen who argues absolutely everything refuses responsibilities. I'm going to read out my top three tips for parenting teenagers. This is the best answer I can give you because it sort of encompasses how you parent teenagers. Number one is you listen to understand and show empathy. You don't listen to gather information to lecture with. If they want your advice, they'll ask for it. By the way, they already know it. Number two is you negotiate pretty much everything with teenagers. It, it, it's not a blanket statement, but it, it's sort of an idea here. Um, it goes something like this. Hey, I want your dirty clothes in the hamper from now on. What do you want from me? So let's start the negotiations. And number three is don't sweat the small stuff. Save your energy for the big stuff with teenagers. If it does come up, you're going to need the energy for it. Okay, don't micromanage a teenager. So that's my top three tips for parenting teenagers. Now, a nearly three-year-old hits his 14-month-old -month, sister seemingly for fun, runs and pushes her, hits her, runs again. Okay, he's three, if he's nearly three years old, Try the behavior board and say, no hitting your little sister. And if he does, she gets to play with his favorite toy for 10 minutes or something. And you play with her with that favorite toy. Don't let him join in. So you did something mean to her. Now you got to do something nice. You share your favorite toy with her. Something like that. Check that out. Um, uh, my toddler keeps throwing toys at me and my husband. He's 16 months. Okay. Check out my toddlers who hit, bite, etc. That would be for you. It's just anything that's violent or aggressive violent you know they're just toddlers but you know what i'm getting at check out that course it's one of my mini toddler courses um you can't use my behavior board with under the age of three because they can't stop and reason they're in the moment when they're toddlers toddlers is under the age of three they're right in the moment and they're all about actions not words any advice on what to do when a sibling spurs on the other's bad behaviors and they just ramp each other up uh work on the 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 target i always call the kid usually when people hire me i'll say which one's the target <laughs> but you don't want to make it obvious, okay? If they're three and above, use my behavior board. And that is free. So check that out in the link in my description or whatever. So check that out. So yeah, uh, you do have a target, but don't make it obvious. Like don't put down, uh, stop hitting everyone and being rotten. And then the other kids, oh, make your bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you got to sort of make it look across the board. So yeah, um, if you want to hire me for that, because it sounds like there's multi things going on there. And uh, it, it can be a little bit confusing. So if you want to hire me, uh, you can. Otherwise, check out my boot camp course. That might be all you need. Set yourself up as a leader with the boot camp course. Two and a half year old that co-slept had a transfer to his own room. Okay, check out my bedtime battles course because it's a whole system. It's two parts. The first part is how to get them to bed. The second part is how to keep them there. That's the hard part. So check that out because it's a whole system. I can't answer that quickly on here. It's one of my mini toddler courses. It's in the description in the link. And um, anyway, check that out. Here's my top five tips for parenting toddlers. Number one is childproof your home so you never have to say no. Number two is you set up a toy rotation system so they're never bored. Number three is you connect with the toddler in their world. You go to the park and roll down the hill with them. You don't go to the nail salon with them. And then number four is you discipline them in their world. They're all about actions, not words. So stop with the mini therapy sessions discussing all their big feelings. That's garbage. That's just for the mom. Toddlers are about consistent, corrective actions. And a toddler is under the age of three, by the way. Because they're right in the moment. They're all about actions. You have to do, be very, very, very consistent. If you forget, if you do it nine times out of 10, they'll remember the one time you didn't do it. So you got to be really consistent. Just pick a battle per week and go with it. Um, and it might come back again. Toddlers are crazy. And that leads to our very last point. Number five is stop trying to figure them out. They're not figure outable because they haven't formed yet. They're brand new, fresh human beings. They've got one marble and some tumbleweed in there. They're cute as a button, but they're all feet, no brains. They, I always call them crazy, but they just haven't developed sanity yet. They're not there yet. Imagine if you've only been in the world for two years. In the first year, you were a potato laying on a mattress. Like, come on, they just haven't formed yet. So they're crazy, right? What do you recommend for toddler playing rough with dogs? If you can't control it and keep the animals safe, rehome the animals. I'm an animal lover. I would never let my kids hurt an animal. They never stuck their hand in the birdcage. They never picked up our dog or did anything like that. Oh, it just would not have gone over with me. So yeah, if you can't control your child from hurting the dog and can't keep the animal safe, rehome it. That's, yeah, that's my, I, I would never put an animal through abuse like that. If they're really being rough, I, would, I just couldn't do it. Uh, toddler yelling at me, is this normal? Whether I say something good or bad, he yells back. Well, when you say toddler, is he under the age of three? Um, and also if he is three and over, you can never put no yelling or anything attitude or personality based on the behavior board anyway. So the behavior board is for actions, not attitude. If you yell, you put no, no yelling is your rule. It's always your rule if you yell. But if he's always yelling at you, it just says he doesn't respect you. So work on your leadership skills. Remember, it's never their fault. It's your fault. You take the blame and then you also take the credit when they're great. 
whenever someone would say to me, oh my God, your kids are so nice. They're so easy. I always said, thank you. <laughs> I never gave them credit. I took all the credit. So yeah, take the blame and the credit. So leaders take all the responsibility for their children's actions. So work on yourself and your leadership skills. And they don't yell at leaders. They just don't. They just don't. When they're toddlers, they'll try anything. When they're under the age of three, they'll try anything. But by the age of three, they, they don't yell at leaders. They just don't. So work on yourself. Between the ages of three and 12, their behavior is 100% a direct result of your parenting. 100% might be 99.9, .9, but it's pretty darn close to 100%. Their basic personality, their basic nature, you don't want to squash that. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about their behavior, how they treat people, their respectful nature. That's you. you they get that from you. They, it's learned behavior through your leadership. That's why the boot camp course is from 3 to 12 years old, because you're the same parent. That's, the, that's when you're at the height of your leadership, and they want to please you because they look up to you. You're like a mentor. They, they like being with you. You're fun. You bring out the best in them. Teenagers are different. And under the age of three, they're just nuts anyway. So, yeah. But three to 12 is you're at the height of your leadership and they want to please you when you're a good leader. That's why the boot camp course is age. They're very, I understand that's a very different age. A three-year-old is very different from a 12-year-old. But as the parent, you're pretty much the same with those two ages. It took me years to figure that out. I had it broken down. Three to eight-year-old, nine to 12-year-old, 13 and up. <laughs> I had it all broke. And I realized, no, three to 12, you're the same parent. 